The South Carolina Democratic Party says they believe the GOP conspired to commit fraud in order to allow Ellen Weaver to run for superintendent of education. The request for federal investigation was sent out by Democratic Party Chair Trevor Robertson the very moment that Weaver was being inaugurated. It's a political stunt. So uh, my reaction was one of, uh, frankly, kind of humor. Okay, they're saying it was a publicity stunt. As Republican Ellen Weaver was sworn in as the 19th Superintendent of Education on Wednesday, the South Carolina Democratic Party called for investigations into her candidacy. Two letters sent across the state and federal attorney general's office requesting a review of actions that made Ellen Weaver's master's degree a reality. Upon her completion of study last October, Weaver told WIS she completed 33 hours of coursework from Bob Jones University in six months' time. This prompting skepticism among the South Carolina Democratic Party. They should welcome this review because it will eliminate any doubt in the citizens' minds in this state that they did something wrong. SCDP Chair Trav Robertson wrote the open letters publicized during the inauguration, citing a conspiracy to commit fraud among Ellen Weaver, Bob Jones University, and the Republican Party. WIS spoke with Weaver's attorney on Saturday. It is uh, not unusual for uh, students to be able to attain master's degrees in online programs that are self-paced uh, in relatively quick time. So again, uh, this is a uh, 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 really not a legal issue. Uh, this is pure politics at this point. The South Carolina GOP issued this response to Robertson's request. The South Carolina Democratic Party is almost as irrelevant as this unfounded and absurd stunt. Maybe they should try winning at the election the old-fashioned way at the ballot box like we do. The Republicans want to divert your attention from it. They're going to say everything they can because the fact is is that they're under scrutiny for doing something that might very well have been against our laws in this state. Weaver's attorney went on to say that if the Democrats were serious about this issue, they would have filed a lawsuit months ago. But they didn't because they knew they'd lose. To which Chairman Robertson responded, you don't use lawsuits to investigate conspiracy and collusion to commit fraud. Reporting in the studio, Andrew Fancher, WIS News 10.